Brothers and sisters, greetings to you on this Ash Wednesday, February 17th, the first day of the season of Lent, as we begin to travel together toward our Easter celebration this year. We set aside this part of the year as a special time of self-examination and repentance uh, before God and one another. Uh, today, uh, we will not be having our normal in-person Ash Wednesday service uh, this evening, but we will have a, an online video service through YouTube and Facebook that will be available to you beginning at 6 p.m. this evening. And if you can't catch it at 6, you can watch it uh, anytime thereafter. Uh, but know that that is available to us, and I encourage you to watch with your families as we begin this time of preparation and reflection together. A couple more announcements. Because of the inclement weather, uh, we have had to change the schedule of some of our activities. Our office remains closed through the end of the week uh, because we are anticipating some more uh, precipitation today and tomorrow. Uh, the confirmation planning meeting that we had scheduled for tonight has been postponed and we'll be getting more information to parents about that soon. And the confirmation retreat that had been scheduled for Lakeshore uh, this weekend has had to be canceled. They have let us know that they are not going to be hosting that retreat this weekend. So. Uh, we'll be getting more information to parents about the uh, March retreat that still remains in place. So uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to direct those to me. Today I want to read for us the traditional uh, gospel lesson for Ash Wednesday. It comes from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 6. Uh, verses 1 through 6, and then skipping down to verses 16 through 21. It helps to set the tone for us about what our attitude ought to be whenever we come to God, but especially as we practice our Lenten spiritual disciplines during this time of the year, what our attitude ought to be. So listen to these words from Matthew chapter 6. Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So, whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward." But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moss and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. 
Today we continue our prayers for Judy Moore's brother and sister, Kay Simpson, Rick Ray Berryman, Rick Hart, Bill Bobbitt, Charlotte Polk, Mary Fessmeyer, Reed Anderson, Tom Riney, and all of the unspoken requests of our hearts. For these and for all of those we hold in our hearts, let us go to the Lord in prayer. O God, maker of everything and judge of all that you have made, from the dust of the earth you have formed us, and from the dust of death you would raise us up. By the redemptive power of the cross, create in us clean hearts and put within us a new spirit, that we may repent of our sins and lead lives worthy of your calling. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Together we pray for the people of our congregation and of every congregation of believers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who suffer and those in trouble, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are working for peace and justice in our world, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all workers as they go about their jobs, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our government leaders at every level, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the church universal, its leaders, its members, and its mission, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for the communion of all the saints, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Together, let us pray using the words that Jesus himself has taught us, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God bless you today. I'll be praying for you as we begin this season of Lent together. And I hope that God brings us into closer fellowship with each other and with him. God bless you.